Hello and welcome. The big day for the Kudankalam nuclear plant as it moved an inch closer to its commissioning, obtaining the permission for its fuel loading. We will bring to you all the updates and the reactions during the next 30 minutes as you are watching headlines now with me Linda Hercules. Let me take you through the top headlines first. After much controversy, the Atomic Energy Regulatory Board finally gives the go-ahead to load fuel into the Konongkonam nuclear plant. Tamil Nadu government rejects permission to hold the DMK-led TESO meet in Chennai, citing venue issues. DMK leader M.K. Aragiri and Kerala Congress Chief Ramesh Chenitala visit ailing Union Minister Vilash Tarao Deshmukh, saying his condition has improved. You may steal a little but work hard, says the Pradesh Minister to bureaucrats, which he claims has been misquoted by the media. Anim Singh is back to play for the T20 matches after his 10-month long battle against cancer. News in detail. Nuclear fuel loading can finally start at the nuclear, uh, Kodankulam nuclear reactor. Several tons of enriched uranium will be slowly loaded into the Russian-made 1000 megawatt nuclear plant. If all goes well in a few weeks, it can start generating power that will be supplied to Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Puducherry and Karnataka. This could, however, be a red rag for the anti-nuclear protesters, agitating against the start of the nuclear plant. Well, we are right now joined live by NDTV science editor Pallav Bagla. Mr. Bagla, if you could just tell us, with all the recent developments uh, in the scenario, uh, what, how, when do you think uh, power can actually be generated from the plant? When can we expect it? See, the first stop was to get clearance from the Atomic Energy Regulatory Board, which is India's nuclear watchdog, for the start of fuel loading. That particular permission, which is a very tough thing to get, has come in today after a great deal of deliberation. In the next 10 days, possibly the fuel loading will start, which will go on for another 15 days. So you can earliest expect power to be generated sometime towards the end of September or early October, which is when homes in Tamil Nadu and the adjoining states can hope to get power from the Kudankulam nuclear power plant. And I believe the Tamil Nadu today is facing a power crunch. So when you when the when the Kudankulam nuclear power plant once starts generating, over five hundred megawatts of power will be immediately available to Tamil Nadu. Well, uh, Mr. Bagla, how have uh, the anti-nuclear activists uh, reacted to the scenario? Well, expectedly, the anti-nuclear activists, which is the people's movement against nuclear energy, have slammed the decision taken by the Atomic Energy Regulatory Board to give a nod for the enriched fuel to be loaded into the nuclear power plant one at Kudankulam. Uh, they say it's an it's an authoritarian and illegal decision by the Indian nuclear establishment, and they cite several reasons, saying there is a court case going on. Until that was cleared, there was no reason to be given clearance. But at the same time, the Atomic Energy Regulatory Board is an independent regulator. They give, uh, look at the technical details, look at what has happened, inspect the plant, and then give their considered opinion. So when the Atomic Energy Regulator has given their considered opinion, uh, that, that the plant is safe and that the fuel can be loaded. But this is a permission which has come just for fuel loading and for what is a step called approach to criticality. But actual, actually there will be another level of permission which has to be given by the nuclear watchdog for the generation of power, which would have to come a little later. So there is still, still a few steps required before power can actually be generated at Kudankulam. But then... Remember, this is a 14,000 crore investment made by the government of India on the southern tip of India, which will essentially supply two-thirds or more of its power to the people of Tamil Nadu. It's an important development that power can soon be generated at the Kudankunum plant if all goes well. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Pagla, for giving us that insight. That was uh, NETV science editor uh, telling us that uh, the power will be generated from the plant sometime around September and we will just have to wait and watch how the anti-nuclear activists would react to it. Well, moving to other news now. Suspense over the DMK-sponsored Tamil Elam Supporters Conference in Chennai continued with the Tamil Nadu government indicating that it would reject permission to hold the meet at the YMCA grounds in Chennai. 
when a public interest writ petition against the conference came up for admission before a division bench. Advocate General A. Navneeta Krishnan said that the venue will give rise to several problems as it was located in the center of the city. பத்திரிகைகளை <laughs> காரகத்தாக்கு <laughs> Kaval to Rekim Purupurka and the Purupe Well, uh, that was the DMK chief's uh, latest reaction to the controversial Teso conference. Moving on, Janata Party President Subramanian Swami met Sri Lankan President Mahinda Radhapaksa and requested him to mobilize other Tamil parties in the northern province besides the dominant TNA to achieve political reconciliation. Swami, who is in Lanka to attend an international seminar, discussed with the President the ethnic issue and devolution of power to the Tamil-dominated province yesterday. He said after the meeting that Radhapaksa wants a resolution of the key issues in the reconciliation process to be achieved through the parliamentary select committee process. Tamil Nadu Chief Minister Jalalita chaired a high-level meeting in the wake of reports of illegal granite quarrying in the state resulting in loss of several crores of rupees in revenue to the exchequer, apparently to discuss the government taking over the business in the state. Industry Minister P. Thangamani and senior officials participated in the meeting held at the state secretariat. Moving on, DMK leader M.K. Aragiri visited ailing Union Minister Vilas Rao Deshmukh at a private hospital in Chennai. Deshmukh, who is currently on life support system, was admitted to the hospital with a liver-related ailment and possible multiple organ failure. Though he could not meet him in person, Mr. Aragiri stated that there seemed to be a good improvement from the doctor's reports. Kerala Congress Chief Ramesh Chenitala, who also visited the hospital, said that Deshmukh was improving as well. Mr. Vilasa Deshmukh, Honorable Union Minister for Science and Technology, he is improving, his position is stable, and we talked to the doctors and other relatives. I feel that now he has improved a lot and we are all praying for his good health and the early recovery. Mr. Velasavati Deshmukh, of course, he is in the uh, intensive care unit, so definitely it is not, uh, not advisable to see him personally. We have met the uh, family members and what we understand is improving and uh, his condition is quite stable. Uttar Pradesh PWD Minister and Chief Minister Akhilesh Yadav's uncle, Shifpal Yadav, clarified that he did not give any bizarre advice for bureaucrats and blamed the media for misquoting him. Yadav earlier in the day was caught saying that he had told PWD officials that if they worked hard, they could steal a little but not behave like decoits. Clarifying his statement, the minister said that he was talking about the corruption in the earlier government and how to control it, asking the PWD officials to work hard to fight against corruption. <laughs> वो मेरा कहने का मतलब था कि जब देखे हम जब रोक लगाते हैं तो किस तरीके से अधिकारी 
तब भी कुछ चोरी कर लेते हैं उस पर हम रोक लगाएंगे हम कभी चोरी को बर्दाश्त नहीं करेंगे हम कभी बेईमानी को बर्दाश्त नहीं करेंगे हम कभी भ्रष्टाचार को बर्दाश्त नहीं करेंगे जो लोग चोरी से घुसे हैं तो उनको हमसे पूछ लेना चाहिए था हमने प्रेस में कहीं पर ऐसा बयान नहीं किया है फॉर्मर समाजवादी पार्टी लीडर एंड उर्दू जर्नलिस्ट शाहिद सिद्दीकी इस्लाम मिस्टर यादव सेइंग दैट इट वाज एन इरिस्पॉन्सिबल स्टेटमेंट शिवपाल जी हमेशा ऐसे बयान देते आए हैं कि निठारी में जो हुआ था वाकया तो उन्होंने कहा था कि ऐसे तो रोज होते रहते हैं इतना घनावना हुआ था अब उन्होंने कह दिया कि चोरी करो लेकिन डाका मत डालना अफसरों को कह दिया सब कह दिया कि चोरी कर लो चोरी करने में कोई बुराई नहीं है डाका मत डालना क्योंकि डाका डालने का अधिकार तो सिर्फ हमको है तुम कैसे डाका डालोगे तो ये बड़े दुख की बात है एक मंत्री जो के मुख्यमंत्री का चाचा है जो के अपने को मुख्यमंत्री से कम नहीं समझता वो इस किस्म की बातें करे इससे जाहिर होता है कि उत्तर प्रदेश में अंधेर नगरी चौपट राज पांच महीने में कर दिया इतना बुरा हाल तो मायावती जी ने ये किसी ने भी नहीं किया मंत्री की कोई बात जो है वो सरकार की नीति होती है और अगर वो ये कह रहे हैं तो इसके मतलब यह है कि सरकार जो है वो सरकारी धन की चोरी करने का लाइसेंस दे रही है अधिकारियों को और ये किसी मंत्री को इस तरह की बात करना उचित नहीं है जब से सरकार बनी है वहां पर पकड़ हत्याएं बलात्कार और अब श्री शिवपाल सिंह जी ने ये भी कहा है खुलेआम सार्वजनिक रूप से कहा है कि भ्रष्टाचार किया जा सकता तो मैं आपको बतला दू ये अभी तो उन्होंने कहा है कि आप चोरी कर सकते हैं पर ये धीरे धीरे आप पकड़ उद्योग में बदलेगा और ये फिर डकैतियां भी पढ़नी शुरू हो जाएंगी मोर लोकल एंड नेशनल न्यूज वेटिंग यू ऑन दी अदर साइड ऑफ अ वेरी शॉर्ट ब्रेक स्टे विद अस।